And I have one more question, and this is for both of you. Um, any genetic, and I'm amazed at your science, as Paris has said, I'm amazed at the scientific know-how you guys have, the ability to humanize mice. I think it's fascinating and amazing. I also don't think that this is something that I could probably go and pick up at Walmart in the drugstore when it comes out. And so I'm wondering, you know, what kind of cost would we be talking about if genetic cure, be they remissive cures or functional cures or eradicating ones, what kind of cost will we be talking about? I mean, we already have a lot of people that have HIV live in some of the poorest countries on the planet. And I'm just wondering, you know, how does that factor, I know you're scientists, but how does that factor into the work you do? You know, like, if there's a day when HIV is cured, who's going to get that cure? Right. I, I think it, it depends on how it's done. If, I'll just make up something. If it involves taking aspirin, it'll be cheap and easy and well distributed and no problem. If it involves taking a newly discovered, newly created molecule that required a billion dollars or two billion dollars of testing before it was found to do what we would like to see it do, it's going to be very expensive. And then we're going to have all the same problems that we had with the super HIV, anti-HIV drugs being extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. And we have found ways to allow countries that can't afford those drugs to make them cheaply, uh, India in particular. Uh, I've been in, in pharmacies in Africa and everything says made in India on it. Um, and it's very impressive that all of that is affordable uh, in the context of people who can hardly afford to eat a meal. Um, but uh, it, it really depends on how it, how it works itself out. Uh, I don't think we can, we, we'll, you know, in the, in the grand old phrase, which I love, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> I, I, I think I would say that there's new types of medicine coming. There's new types of ways of thinking about how to treat people. We're seeing huge advances in the treatment of cancer that are based on our deeper understanding of how to harness the immune system to attack cancer. And for sure, right now, these sort of therapies that are often based on taking cells out of people and engineering them are prohibitively expensive. But you know what? Anything that works, ends up being not prohibitively expensive because we are human beings and we have a huge amount of ingenuity and we will make these things work. So I don't ever worry that I might be one small part of producing something that can cure by whatever definition people of HIV and then turning around and saying, God yeah, damn it, we, we know how to do it, but it's too expensive. That to me is going to be a nice problem to have and a very solvable problem. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Good. Jeff Taylor.